Hello again everyone, and welcome to the next episode of my Let's Play. You may notice I'm kind of turned away, facing away from my signboard. I actually had originally intended to do something in an episode, and I'd started on it during my watching the live stream, but then, then I, I just kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I sort of finished it, it's behind there. Ah, that funny looking building back there. I know it's a little plain, but that's actually how I roll. Um, not everybody's into the very, very high detail, but this is Mumbo's new version of his uh, automatic, well, semi-automatic tree farm. I was going to do an episode on it and wrap a building around it, but Mumbo's really good with the tutorials, and so there's no point in me doing that. And, well, he's a redstoner, he's not a builder. Which is interesting because he's got a really nice looking RV on the current Hermitcraft server. I, I don't know why people say they're not builders. And It's like watching Tango and Impulse. They say they're not builders. And then they proceed to build this fantastic looking structure. <laughs> Anyways, ah, uh, yeah. I, I meant to do an episode on that, but I got carried away building it. However, there is one problem with it right now. This right here is all the bone meal I have here. That plus what's in my uh, temporary nano farm over there. And I don't want to run back and forth to spawn, but before I do proceed, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and clear a sign off of here. Let's see. Uh, where is she? Do, 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 staples. Man, I got a lot of things going on. Anyways, um, hmm. I think I already got the sign for that. Yeah, the uh, tree farm. Hmm. I've got the wall 90% there. I've got all the base of it done and the top surfaces on it. Um, and I've got a spot for a bridge picked out over here. Uh, just let me run over here real quick. But that is not going to be the goal of today's episode. Today, I am planning on making, or at least in this episode, making a little skelly farm. Yeah, there's going to be a little bridge over there. So I've got the basics of it done, but there's no turrets in it right now, or towers, or whatever you want to call them. Um, that'll come later. But for the most part, it's done. I've placed, like, 30,000 stone bricks. But <laughs> that's a lot. So, yeah. Ah, uh, better, better keep that with me. I actually ran all the way through my Suck Touch pick. Building that thing. So, uh, I'm going to cut here and I'll meet you down there at the skeleton spawner. And welcome back. Ah, um, Yes, my little skelly spawner that's under my base. Eventually, I'm going to be dressing all this up. And I have some supplies. Um, I had an idea, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Because I can't drop them far enough before running into bedrock. Because we're at Y25. Well, 24 here. Uh, yeah, 24. So I, I can't do that experiment I had in mind. But... I was going to do the old water elevator them up and then drop them because I want this one, unlike the one at spawn, which is fully AFK, uh, I don't have any dogs either, so that wouldn't work uh, to make it a, an AFK XP farm, but I did was going to make this into an XP farm, so, ah, uh, hmm. Meaning I, I don't need as much rich now. I'm still going to do the old, uh, unlike the other one, you can't, you can't turn the one to spawn off. It's always on. As soon as you're in range, they start spawning. Here I was going to do some uh, redstone lamps, and then I was also thinking over here, make a nice observation room slash collection area for the drops. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And then I was thinking for the decor. Continue my little theme I've got going of uh, stone brick. And unlike most people I see do these, I was actually thinking I might get the redstone lamps in before I do the drop shaft and all the rest of it. 
just so that I can turn it off before it and I can have, go ahead and not have any torches. So, I'll see you when, um, I, I guess I'll see you guys when I've made some progress. I just thought I'd bring you back in for a quick update. As you can see, I've made some progress, and, yeah. Helpful hint for future reference for everybody. Put your redstone in first, and then dig the hole. Because, as you can see, it's not active, and there are no torches that it can interfere with my digging. Yay! I know I'm just realizing that I need to move that wall. Oh well. I'll see you in a bit when I've made more progress. Just a quick little update here. This is fun. I've never done it this way before, but at the moment, I've got them going down in a, ch in a little uh, channel there. They go up, and then they drop 23 blocks to right here. And I'm kind of excited, because I've not had that before. But they are one-hit kills, which means I got it right. So... At this point, I think my next update will be when I'm completely finished, because I've still got some decorating here to do. Well, not 100% finished, because I still need to put in a better access to this, but... Um, the farm works. Turn the lights off. They spawn. Then they go up to the top. And they are, there's a little holding area up there where they wait. Uh, there's a gap here because I'm gonna put glass there Which is also why there's a uh, slab floor here. It takes a couple minutes for them to get up there, but It does work it Just takes it a minute In fact while I'm waiting I Am done with that part So we'll put this away One hit kill! Ha ha ha! I got a little XP grinder. Which technically works. It takes a bit for them to get pushed off the edge. Uh, this would probably work better in 1.9 because of the hitboxes being different. But I think it'd be the same height. So, yeah. Um, and I'm going for a little half slab floor here because when the farm is running, I want this the whole area to be dark. I want the light level to be zero all the way around. Aw. Armored. Ha ha ha. I got your stuff. I got your stuff. <laughs> yeah, about... Well, all of about, uh, I don't know, five, maybe six years old here. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'm going to put in a little sorting system for this. Uh, I've got a bunch of chests specifically for that and some wood. Because, yeah, there's all kinds of different drops. So, ooh, another, I have another volunteer. Ooh. And they do push each other around up there, which is actually what I want, so I'll be back in a little bit. I just thought I would do one final clip for today and say that, except for cleanup and doing the entrance, uh, the farm's finished. I've got a really simple little uh, sorting system here. I don't figure I'm going to be using this terribly much, but it is here. Get more arrows than anything, unfortunately. Looting sword! It's uh, loot only looting two, but. I should help. Because most of what I need is bones, not anything else. The only other things left to do now are to. Of course, take all this stuff back up to my base. But also, uh, I'm going to do all that off camera and in between episodes. Also, I would like to go ahead and get a proper entryway into here. 
Um, along with, I was going to do, I'm going to do an elevator. Just one of those really basic minecart elevators, since those seem to be the most reliable. Um, instead of trying to do a piston elevator. Especially on servers, those tend to be a little squirrely. Um, yeah, and I'll re-emphasize that this is not a single player world. It's just there's nobody else on the server right now. Um, if anybody wants to join, just ask me. We'll see about getting you hooked up with it, but... Uh, yeah, so, anyways, I think that'll do it for today. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, uh, I know it's not one of the most interesting videos, and I mean, everybody's got a skeleton farm, just about. Uh, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, I would really like it if you subscribed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.